Welcome to Exclusive Escargot. Today what I want to show people is how we set up and work our electric fence system for the outdoor area on our snail farm. We get asked this question from so many different countries about setting it up and what we do and how we do it. So today that's what today is going to be about. So I want to show you the box that we use, the power box. It's converted down in power because very little power comes out of it. You don't want too much power because snails don't need that much. It's just a tickle that they need. So we'll show you that. We'll show you how we connect it up to the snail fence, the four strand snail fence. And we'll show you it running around with the power. And we'll hopefully be able to show you some snails actually getting a little touch out of it and see how it keeps them in and controls them. So today that's what it's all about. So once you see it up and working, and how it works and to me you can't live without it any snail farm where you have snails outdoors you need to be able to keep them in and control them and God, so it's vitally important we couldn't live without our one and with this you just be collecting them all day every day because once they come out at night they will go everywhere you'll be coming down in the morning you'll have to pick them all up and put them all back in so with the snail fence it does perfectly it works perfect and it does the job and when you come down in the morning everything's where it should be everything is happy and that's what makes our life that much easier so we'll go out now and show you how we do it all so what we're doing here today is going to be going through all the electric fence just to make sure that it's all working and ready to go for the new season so we'll check it all the way through walk it all check that the box is working right check that it's putting enough power through it and you'll be able to come with us today and we'll show you how we set all this up. This is our specially designed power box that we use on our farm. It's battery and solar powered and it's converted down in power. So it's very little power that comes out of it through the snail fence. And the snail fence that we have covers all this area. And that one power box is enough power to cover the whole lot of it. So on our power box here, we're always going to have a live and an earth on the box itself naturally that's connected up to the system inside. So all that we have to do is connect up our two wires, live and earth, and bring them off down to the fence. So what we do down here to connect it all up is that we have four strands, one, two, three, and four. So we'll count from the top down. So with the live coming down off this one, we just connect up to the first strand and the third strand. And that's connected to this wire here of the live. So then we have the earth wire over here. And what we do with the earth is that we connect the second and the fourth strand to the earth. So that means you have two live and two earth every second one. And that runs the whole power the whole way through the system. Working off live, earth, live, earth all the way through. And what happens with this then is that when a snail starts to climb up, it won't get a shock off this. It has to connect the two of these together to connect the circuit itself, the snail itself. So once the snail climbs up and touches the two, it'll get a small little shock. And then once it goes up further and touches these and gets up to the top two, it'll get a little harder shock. So if they're brave enough to go through this one, we'll see if they can go over the four strand wire. But the magic to this is that they connect the circuit themselves. And that's what needs to happen when it comes to controlling snails on a snail farm. So we've only power on now to the big fair pin. We don't have power onto these pins here. So I just want to check this one by itself now over here with the power going through and just see is it working and up to scratch. And then once we have that working fine, then we can move it on to the next pins that we're doing here. And it's not until we come up to a part of the fence like this with a snail trying to escape that we can finally see is their power coming through and if it's working and how strong it is. We don't want any strong power going through the electric fence. It should be very, very, very light power because snails don't need that much and too strong can do them harm. We ain't here to do any harm to snails, only do the best and look after them best we can. So this is what we're looking for right here.
and now we know there's power going through that at just the right level that it just gives them a little tickle but doesn't actually do them any harm and that's exactly what we're looking for from the bottom two strands. So here we are walking through, checking the electric fence and just look what we found here. Weather is glorious here for spring and I'll just show you down the ground now what we're coming across. Here we have two breeding snails starting to mate. So it's amazing when you walk through the pins what you'll find, where you'll find them and what they're up to. So the power box that we have out in our field is the battery solar power box. There's another option of a mains power box that you get to plug into the main supply. We have the box out there because the mains doesn't suit a lot of farms because they're not near power to be able to plug it in. So we go to the battery one, like our farm here. So the difference between the mains box and the battery box, I'll explain that now. With the battery box, it all depends on what length of electric fence is being used out of the power. So the longer the electric fence is, the less power that's going through the box. And the same with the other way. The shorter or the less electric tape that you're using, the stronger the pulse going through it will be. So that's hard to get right. Where with the mains box, you don't get that problem. You can just plug it in and it'll give you a set pulse all the time no matter how short or how long the tape is so that's a massive plus and a minus for the battery box another difference is rain and depends what climate you're in but when it comes to ireland we do get our fair share of rain so with the battery box and even the one we have out in the field and heavy rain when rain starts to roll down the electric fence it can short it out when it connects the two plus and minus of it then you go to the mains box, you don't get that problem. It doesn't happen. It will just give you a set pulse, no matter what dry weather, wet weather, whatever you have, to where the battery box, it can start to short in heavy, heavy rain. And that can be, it's not a big problem. It's more annoying than a big problem. So the battery box has its massive pluses. that You can set it up anywhere, do whatever you want. It does work. But the mains is, I think, a better set box and you can work in all climates, all conditions. And no matter what you do with it, it gives you that set pulse to our battery box. You have to be careful on how long or how short the fence is coming off it. And rain can be, only heavy rain, but rain can be a problem with it. And I'll show you, you've seen out in the field, you've seen our 
battery box with the solar battery box so now i'll show you the mains box just the exact same job it's just the different versions of it so i'll show you that now here so here is the mains supply box for the four strand snail electric fence so with this one you just get to plug it in and with that everything works as is you don't have to do anything with it and then you have your plus and minus that you wire up to the fence for your earth and live and all you do is plug it in plug that up to the fence come up here and all we got to do is turn it on and you can do your fast or slow pulse going through it slow is okay for snails because they don't move that fast so there that's it simple as plug in it's all the one it's all the same and that's it and you get your plug and everything and you just plug in and go but as i said this mightn't suit 99 percent of farms because they're not near a power supply that they can plug into but there's the difference between the two and plus and minuses of them but again both do the same job this is one is battery and one is main supply well i hope that explains some bit of the electric fin system that we use here on our farm and i'd like to do more of these videos so if anyone has any questions or anything like that or you'd like to see some other part of snail farming all you can do is either drop a comment here or you can go onto the website and send me an email on that way and we'll see what we can do in the future with this because we've a lot more to show when it comes to snail farming so any help will be appreciated and what you want to know or see or hear so thanks for watching and hopefully we'll talk soon